In just a short while, our lives have almost been taken over by a fascination with social networking sites. This interactive invasion has become a worldwide phenomenon almost overnight, causing an unhealthy obsession with the new media. Gone are the days of socialising in the playground as our lives revolve around the ever-growing internet. Almost everyone now has a MySpace, High Five or Bebo. Well, I use MSN Space. MySpace. High Five. Pixel. Bebo. MSN. MySpace. Bebo. MySpace. Good old MySpace. Yeah, I use it several times a week. I even use it on my phone. I'm on there most of the time. I use them quite often for about two or three hours. Every day, some asks for me. And I've met quite a few people. I've met a couple of people on, on, online. Just link them somehow. Just link them somehow. Just link them somehow. Just link them somehow. We decided to see just how easy it is for this to happen. For three months, we spoke to a 16-year-old female from London, posing as a 17-year-old boy. Ooh, I love the way you I can take you home, my skin. Ooh, I need your backspace in my life. Thank God you don't have a flash. Baby, I got to see you. I really want to please you. The girl waited alone before returning home two hours later. This could have been much worse had this been a real situation. We spoke to a victim of online sexual abuse who retold her emotional story. Andrea's real name and identity has been concealed in order to respect her privacy. It was all really innocent at first. He added me on my space and we talked on that for a while. He seemed like a quite nice person. like the only person that would pay interest in me. We talked for about four weeks on the net and we got on really well. Then he came up with the idea of me. I was pretty happy though. Like, I really liked him. It never crossed my mind that he might not be who he says he is. I mean, he was just like another, any other guy. We shared all the same interests. When I went to meet him, I was greeted by a much older guy. He pretended he was Ray's uncle. And apparently Ray was waiting for me with At first, I was hesitant. But the man was pretty persuasive. And he ensured me that Ray was waiting for me. We visited SEOP, a charity specialising in child exploitation and online protection, to find out what support is available for victims of child abuse online. Hannah Bickers, Public Support Coordinator, agreed to help us with our investigation. The Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre was launched in April last year and we deal with um, online and offline child sexual abuse, so we deal with the paedophiles that use the internet for um, trying to groom young people to potentially meet up with them and sexually abuse them. So the internet is evolving um, as technology evolves and uh, offenders or paedophiles uh, use this technology to um, try and groom young people, uh, try and build up relationships with them to ultimately meet them, um, to abuse them in, in sort of the offline environment. One case we had was a 21-year-old man who um, 
was arrested after someone reported to us at the centre that he'd been acting suspiciously and been saying inappropriate things on the internet. Um, and after doing some investigation, it came about that he'd been talking to over 160 girls at one time. And they all thought that they were sort of the only one who he'd been talking to. Um, and so he'd been talking to all these girls at, at, at any one time and had actually met up with two, two or three of them and had actually sexually, sexually abused them. Um, he got sentenced to nine years in prison. Um, so it just goes to show that you know, people do tend to think of paedophiles as being older men with glasses or you know, a typical, uh, that would be what people would think. But a 21 year old man who was quite good looking, you know, just goes to show that you don't really know who you're talking to. People aren't always as they seem. This is our server room and inside here are 60 servers um, and what we do is when we seize a computer, information from that computer is run through the servers in this room. That helps us to extract images, inappropriate images of children and run them against what we call child base, which is a specialised computer suite with facial recognition and that will match up previous victims so we can separate new victims from old victims and ones that we're already aware about and that helps us to trace children who may have been the victim of sexual exploitation. So top tips on the uh, on the website, think about what information that you give out. So personal information is personal for a reason. Um, personal information would be your name, your address, mobile telephone number, email address, you know, just think about it. You wouldn't walk around the street giving that information out to strangers, so don't give it out to someone on the internet because you don't always know who you're talking to. Um, if you are posting any pictures online, you know, think that people can see those, you know, it's not just your friends or family that will see those pictures, it's a world wide web so the pictures will go uh, everywhere, anyone will be able to see them and people are um, able to change pictures so, you know, they can take someone else's face and put it on someone else's body, you know, pictures can be changed and, and amended so think about what you post online. One of the other top tips that we have is if you do decide that you want to meet up with someone who you've met online, meet them in a public place. Don't meet them sort of, you know, somewhere where not a lot of people will see you. And always take someone with you. Um, best person to take is a trusted adult, um, you know, or a trusted friend. Don't go on your own. Always make sure that you go with someone and it is in a public place. So on our website we have uh, what's called the report abuse button, uh, which is a unique button that anyone can um, click on and report anything that they find is inappropriate or suspicious in a sexual nature. So if they've been chatting to someone online and you know the conversation's got a bit inappropriate or you know uh, someone's asking someone to do something that they think isn't right, um, then they can report that to us. Mm -hmm.